Determining Bladder Volume with Econos Bladder. Please clean the device before and after use, adhering to the user manual protocol. Press the power button. The display will power on within 30 seconds. Select Bladder Volume. Then select the appropriate patient type. Normal should be used for patients with a BMI under 30, pediatric for pediatric patients 27 kilograms or less, deep for patients with a BMI of 30 or greater, or if scar tissue is present, pregnant for active pregnancy. For this scan, we will select normal. Lay the patient as flat as can be tolerated. If necessary, palpate the patient's pubic bone. Apply the gel and position the probe about an inch above the pubic bone with the orientation marker facing towards the patient's head. Apply pressure firmly. Tilt the portion of the probe in contact with the patient 15 to 20 degrees towards the feet. Select Scan. When the bladder has been found, an orange outline will appear around the bladder. The pubic bone indicator will appear as a green curved line. Maintaining pressure and angle, fan the probe towards one hip until the sound indicator is heard and the arrow appears. Then, fan back towards the other hip until a second sound is heard. Make sure not to slide the probe while fanning. The bladder volume will appear on the display. If the bladder is fully outlined and pubic bone indicator is present, no further scans are needed. Following a successful scan, press Done and enter any requested information. You can either save the scan or discard it. If the bladder is not found right away, the system may prompt you to re-angle the probe towards the patient's head or down towards the patient's feet. It may also prompt you to apply firmer pressure or more gel. Additionally, do not fan too fast or too slow. Maintain consistent pace and pressure during the scan. As a guideline, a complete fan should take around 3 to 5 seconds. If the greater than symbol appears along with the volume measure, there are some actions that can be helpful. Make sure the bladder is centered on the screen and that you are fanning the probe towards one hip until the sound indicator is heard and an arrow is seen. Then fan back towards the other hip until a second sound is heard to capture the entire bladder. Anchor the pivot point to ensure that the probe does not slide in any direction while fanning. If the phrase twisting is detected appears, you should rescan, taking care not to rotate the probe during the fanning motion making sure the orientation marker remains pointing towards the patient's head. Lastly, if a zero milliliter reading is obtained, tap the question mark icon. A message indicating possible reasons for empty result will appear. Note, a true low volume bladder scan will present with a clear pubic bone indicator and a clear visualization of a small empty bladder on the screen. For additional information about using Econos Bladder, visit econos.com.